Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how we can add progress bar to our application. You know, progress bar are um, something essential in every application when we use AJAX request something like that. So when we create a user, we don't know where is the process going on and where, when it happens, when is how it is happening. So what I'm going to do is, when someone click on the create user, there should be a progress bar that show that either we are creating the user or not. Later, we will discuss about how we can upload image for the user so that way it, mm, uploading the image might take a little while so that's why it should show a progress bar of what it is going to do so let's start and uh, there are many applications for many like packages for view to do the progress bar but this one is very nice the the view progress bar you can just check out on github as well as the demo so let's see the demo if it is start it will just click on the start it will show a progress bar something like that and even if it start and let's say in the middle it fail it, it will turn to uh, to red and if you start and you can finish it soon and there are some a lot uh, more flexibility you can use so let's start first of all we just download it so i will come to my application here again i will open my terminal and i paste it and then you say we can save it as a dev or we do need to do that actually so it will take a few seconds to install one of other reason that I use these packages this has a very very nice API that you can just use it in your application so it is done now let's uh, import it in our application so I will come to uh, JS up here uh, all the way up there we can install we can write it what you can do is you can organize your code the way I write it is not organized for so far but you can organize them and write comment for them because in the future you will have more code so first of all we import it I copy the import one and then we import it something like this and then you can say use the progress bar and then pass the color so we say the view JS that we are you should uh, we are going to use the progress bar component in your in our application here is the color we are going to give and for the felt color it is going to be red this is going to be green for now so this is the height if you want to increase the height let's say we are going to display three pixels so we save it and now we have access to progress bar we should uh, write the progress bar somewhere in, uh, in our application so if i come down they say that you can write it under the view router view so where is our router view if i open our component here in the dashboard no we don't have it here but it is in the view if i open the layout master.blade.php i believe we wrote it somewhere around here yeah here is the router view where all the components uh, are being compiled here or being rendered there so i save it for now Ooh, and next step what you can do is you can have access to this dot progress start so where we are going to start it if i open the user component here you know if someone click on the all the way down here method of uh, create user it is going to send a post request so before it send the post request what i'm going to do is i'm going to say this dot where is the progress bar so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy this one and then i'm going to write it for now we will write it but later i will explain you how you can use promises and how you can use uh, async function something like that and it will let's do the finishing line as well so this is going to be the finish after this one you should finish it so it should be very quick if i save it let's create our application so without testing let's see how it is going to work so i will open the inspect element to see if we do not have any error so far which we do not have so let's create a user and i will give it uh, the name of progress and we say progress at me.com and bio is testing then let's say he is an admin and the password we just leave it as it is written here so we press on the create yes did you see the the line up all, all the way up there so we do not have any error so it should close it and it should uh, have the data if i refresh it 
now we should have it yeah we have it so we did not do the the loading like if someone click on the create it should close the model window plus it should uh, send another request to the database and refresh our table so that is what we are going to do in the next video but in this video we just learn how we can add the progress bar at the top here okay let's try it again you can feel free to skip the video let's test it uh, again we say testing and we say oops the spelling is wrong testing at me.com and let's put it as empty or just testing let's say he is a, a standard user and click on the credit when i click on the credit just look at above and because it is so quick it is not going to take too much time but once you put it uh, for production it will show up like for one second click on the credit yes that was the progress bar here so far it is fine but in the future when we add more details like it should re uh, display that that's what you are going to do of course in the next video where we once we, once we click on this one it should automatically do all this stuff like refresh not refreshing the page but uh, resending the request to the user um, in the database and repopulating the data so i hope it has been informative for you if you have any question feel free to ask below the video and thank you for watching